Hello everyone, welcome to this video. You are watching the April edition of my monthly blog recap in which I run you through every single blog post that happened in a particular month. You may know that I make YouTube videos here on YouTube, but I also have a corresponding blog website where I post additional content, lots of reviews and different topics that may not always get a chance to translate into a video format. So for those of you who do prefer to watch videos, this is your chance to have a quick run through of every single post that I made in the month of April and if you miss anything or anything that perked your interest you can find a specific link to that blog post down below in the information bar I have everybody linked and listed so you're not missing out on a single thing so this has to be done fairly quickly as I have a lot of ground to cover and we don't want to make this super long so if you're ready let's jump in first thing I talked about in the month of April was a video for these products from 100% pure they're a beauty slash makeup slash hair slash body care skincare brand that really focuses on natural ingredients but what really intrigued me was their use of fruit pigments in their beauty products for one this blusher called peppermint candy is actually um, infused and colored with uh, fruit pigments instead of synthetic dyes or even mineral colorants so that was very interesting to me also another thing of interest is this eyeliner liquid eyeliner which is made and colored with black tea they also have a lipstick that I swatched for you and you can see all of the details for this in the corresponding blog post and video available next up I talked to you in a comparison and contrast post on two very very popular drugstore foundations and I'm sure one of these guys is probably a holy grail for you as well this is the Revlon color stay um, combination to oily skin liquid makeup and this is the Revlon color stay cream foundation or cream makeup now this came first then came this but which one is the better one you have to read the blog post to find out which one is my favorite and I also do a color swatch for you because although both of these are named buff they are not the same shade so more on that and details in the information bar and then I shared with you a quick wish list on one of my favorite uh, brands when I first started out getting into department store makeup and that was Clinique. I tried so many of their things and because they were very affordable in the department store range, uh, they were definitely kind of a nostalgic pick for me. I shared with you some of my, um, not favorite products necessarily, but products I've used and I've really enjoyed. Although I may or may not still have them in my current collection. You know, you go through cycles with makeup, but I've seen some new products from Clinique which are very intriguing and I share with you what I would like to try and you guys share with me exactly what you thought about those as well in that blog post called the Clinique Wishlist. Then I share with you in a video format in my hair care routine. All this hair over here is going to be different the next time that you see me in a video I believe um, or the video afterwards but I did share with you what I'm currently using for my hair, for my color treated hair because I do color my hair right now. What are my favorite products and uh, a few actually natural or more natural based hair care products as well so if that is your thing hair care in much great detail in that video and that corresponding blog post with a list of every single product I shared as well and then I shared with you a very sneaky little recipe which is my personal favorite for a spice um, dry rub oven chicken now the original recipe was meant to be used on the grill or on the barbecue but i've taken bits and pieces of it and put it together so you can do this super easy in your oven whether it's a toaster oven or the big serious guy depending on how many people you are hoping to serve now it's very easy because you mix all the dry ingredients all the spices in a jar and then you just use them when you need to there's no liquids involved you just marinate quick and easy pop in the oven it tastes absolutely delicious Everyone who's tried it so far really really loves it so I think that's a good sign I show you exactly how that's done with some lovely and delicious photographs to accompany it Then I also reviewed um, a product called the Avon Pore Penetrating Black Mineral Mask In short, a very user-friendly mask, great for all skin types Not necessarily acne clearing or acne treating although it does contain 0.5% salicylic acid But I do find it to be very gentle and I do enjoy using it One of the most gentle mineral masks um, actually clay masks I've used thus far in comparison to a lot of the very hardcore ones which really makes your skin feel dry and tight afterwards so read more about this 
I share with you also some tips and tricks on cell phone photography. You know, I take a lot of photos on my cell phone for my Facebook page, for my Twitter, even sometimes for blog posts as well if I'm out in a rush. And I think cell phones have kind of grown so much in the past five years that you can absolutely blog from using cell phone photographs specifically and share with you my tips and tricks on that. And you share with me some of your ideas on cell phone photos as well. So if you want to join that conversation, you know where to find it down below. Then I reviewed the Soap and Glory Heal Genius Foot Cream, which has been sitting on my bedside. In short, pretty great stuff actually. In two to three consecutive days, I've seen notable results on my feet. You know, it's sandal season. If you're looking for something new, try out this is new from Soap and Glory, the UK brand. Their Heal Genius Amazing Foot Cream. Details down there. Um, next up then, I gave you a little sneak peek into my personal life by talking about some life lessons for a beauty blog. You would think that those two actually correlate together. However, you know, since blogging for the past few years and um, it's taken me to so many different places and so many different events and opportunities and people that sometimes you need to sit down and reflect on exactly what this means in your life. So I shared with you my little thoughts on that in a corresponding blog post called Life Lessons from a Beauty Blog. Then I divulged some of my favorite colors for spring in terms of nail polish. Now this is my little swatch wheel that I shared all the colors on so you guys can see, nice and easy. Some classic shades right here, pastels, a very unusual pick which I actually absolutely love from Essie. And it also gave you some options on sparkly top coats that you can use to top off your pre-existing polishes. If you don't want to buy a completely different shade, you just want to change it up a little bit or use it for a party, something fancy you know. Add the sparkle top coat. I think that goes great. You can see all these colors and how they look in that post. All right, moving forward, we have a review on the Elmay Long Wear and Waterproof Makeup Remover for the Eyes. Not my favorite product, not as good as Neutrogena, but if you are already a, an Elmay faithful and you like their products for being hypoallergenic and easy on the eyes, and you don't wear very heavy waterproof makeup, aka no false lashes, no super thick liquid eyeliner, this does the job okay. Takes a little longer, but I do find to be reasonably gentle and no irritation on my eyes. However, um, not the quickest, most easy and to go to bed now type of makeup remover, but you can see the results and exactly how this works in the review post. Then, I talked to you guys about the Alba Botanica Pore, per Pore Perfecting Papaya Enzyme Face Mask, which is very surprisingly good. I didn't think it would be because out of the jar it seemed very underwhelming. It is just a jar of green blob, but once on the face, it does do a great job just perking up my skin, giving my skin a little extra refresher. It's nice, quick, and easy. In fact, I do like this for an instant pick-me-up. I will say this is not the best choice for sensitive skin as it will sting a little bit and be sure not to exfoliate before using this mask unless you're very sure your skin can handle that. Altogether, a great everyday mask that I do think clarifies my skin a little bit and um, very inexpensive as well for review over on the blog blog post. Also, we have here a review for the Makeup Forever Second Skin Compact Cream Blush. Amazing product and formulation and color pigmentation. It is so rich in terms of um, the color payoff and a little tiny touch with your brush will give you beautiful color. Not to mention the silicone formulation makes it lightweight and also very blendable on the skin. If you're not a fan of traditional cream blushers, you really should take a look at this one and see if this floats your boat instead. My color right here is number 510, a beautiful raspberry shade. It comes with a small mirror on the bottom, but also check this out. Take this, take your hand, give a little tap and it comes right out. Great for traveling. So if you are putting this in your Z palette for a travel trip, take this and once you get back home, you can pop it right inside back in the pan and um, all this comes standard. Packaged together in a nice small compact from Makeup Forever. I reviewed this and also swatched it. Ooh, okay, what else do we have? I gave you a look into my iHerb haul in the month of April for some food products. I've been shopping iHerb for a number of months now, I believe a year, maybe a year and a half, a little bit more than that, and I've been really enjoying it. Great service, great selection of products, but this is the first time I ventured into iHerb food. They carry a large selection of healthy food options, and I just got curious. So I share with you whatever um, that I chose, and you share with me some of your favorites kind of natural healthy food products as well and you gave me some great tips on how to eat um, certain 
products that I was curious but was absolutely clueless on how to cook, um, you guys are absolutely great. So check out that blog post as well. I think you'll really enjoy it for some new food ideas and healthy food options. Then I did share a review for this guy, which is from the Korean brand Nature's Republic called the Argan Essential Hair Styling Balm. Love the concept, twist up stick, really convenient, but in functionality and in actually results, I don't think this is as, um, let's say, potent as I thought it would be. It is part of the Argan range, which is meant to be great for your hair, moisturizing, repairing, but in this particular formulation, I think it's just hard to tell whether it does something or not because um, I don't don't use it every single day and you don't need to use it liberally but I hope that more products will come in the stick format waxes um, or even pomades something a little bit you know thicker like this and it's so easy to travel and carry um, around in your purse I do still use this for a bit of shine but unfortunately it doesn't give any hold if you want more details you know where to go for this one I also talked to you guys about the Boost Number no. 7 Beautiful Skin Hot Cloth Cleanser in a review format. Pretty much super popular over in the UK, hot cloth cleansers, especially um, the Liz Earl formulation, but we don't get that over here. So I think uh, the Boost number no. 7, which is widely available in Shoppers Drug Mart over here in Canada, is possibly your leeway into hot cloth cleansers if you want to start low in the drugstore. So I shared with you exactly how this works and a before and after on how well it takes off makeup and if you just want something a little bit different possibly this is one to check out from Boots number no. 7 Ooh, what else do we have? Hair care products. Uh, this is the Free Dick for Guy, a brilliant glossing shampoo and conditioner. This is actually the conditioner. I got the shampoo as well. Has a beautiful fresh garden kind of green scent to it with a kick of apple or something fruity, but very lightweight. And makes a nice everyday cleansing duo, cleansing conditioning duo. If you are looking for an easy, simple, no frills um, shampoo and conditioner and you want to try something a little bit high end, this is not a bad product. Up, but it doesn't do anything sp spectacular for my hair in particular. However, I do want to share with you a very cool product from the Fruit for Kai line, which is the full blown volume lightweight foaming conditioner. Very, very interesting. Haven't never used anything like this before. Comes in a mousse style um, aerosol container. When it comes out, it looks like a mousse, but it's actually a foaming conditioner. Very lightweight. If you have the baby finest of hairs, but you still want to go with conditioner, but you don't want to weigh your hair down, really give this one a go or even just test it out um, if you get an opportunity because it's so cool. And for the most part, I've never seen anything else on the market. So does deserve its own little shout out right here and you can read more about that in that corresponding blog post. Alright, last thing I want to share with you is uh, a blog post actually I made about an event I attended called the ACI Beauty Preview and they actually represent a few of the big brands like Anna Sui, uh, Cetravit, Ceramic Glaze, as well as Cargo and Stila um, Ardell Lashes as well. So I went to one of those events for the first time over here held in the beautiful Rosewood Georgia Hotel gorgeous setting and they set up such a nice little display for us to swatch and play with products and they were so kind to give us a little goodie bag in the end as well. So I have here a few products to show you because I think these are just very interesting. I haven't used all of them yet in the goodie bag but I will get to them eventually. First off here is the Cargo Cosmetics Lip Gloss. Check out this color. I haven't really used anything from Cargo before um, but they are currently available through Rexall if you live East Coast and London Drugs if you live West Coast like me. So this lip gloss is in the shade called Vienna. Right here I also have this in Rio which is again really really pretty colors right here. They're not as saturated depending on the shade. So for example, Vienna is actually a little bit sheer, but that also makes it very wearable. Another product I do want to share with you is this one from Stila, which is so cool and I've never seen anything like this. It gives the most beautiful metallic, almost liquid metal sheen to your eyes. I am wearing the powder version called Kitten from Stila on my lids right now, but this one is the metallic foil finish eyeshadow. It does come with with a little liquid dropper that has I can't find it but it comes with a little dropper that actually oh here it is contains the emulsifying primer you put on your lids and then you pop this on such a beautiful color and a very kind of strong um, finish that's 
like I said, not like anything I've used before unless you do a lot of foiling with mineral pigments or just pigments in general. But this makes it really portable in a pot format. So this might be worth checking out. I haven't used it myself, but I will be. So I think this wraps up all the blog posts I have made in the month of April. Hope you enjoy this. If you want a full list, you know where to find it down below in the information bar. Have a great day, you guys. I'll see you very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.